guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I am Snika and this is the Marigold Rose where I share snippets of my life. I'm an Indian who lives in London and on this channel I share my journey so far and talk about all my learnings in life. Today's video is actually a requested and a suggested video by all of you viewers because I am a mom of a toddler. I have been asked a lot of times oh, what are the activities that I do with her Okay, mommies and daddies, the primary caregivers, and even future parents, hear me out. This is going to simplify your parenting experience. Trust me. Today's video is about a theory I learned in one of my parenting class that I did not a very long time ago, and it stayed with me. It resonated with the kind of parent I am. And instinctively, I could feel that whatever I had learned that day was in fact true and would work. So firstly, they encourage you to have a daily rhythm, not just uh, a daily rhythm for your toddler, but also a daily rhythm for yourself. And you can start including your toddler into that daily rhythm. Your daily activity should be based around breathing in and breathing out. So it's exactly how we inhale and right after inhaling a breath, we exhale. So if you keep that in mind and base all your activities, not just your toddler's activity, it even works for us. Uh, when you breathe in, you are sitting down and doing some focused, attentive work. And when you're breathing out, you indulge in free play. You let your toddler explore, run around without too many instructions. If you feel your toddler has a lot of restless energy, it's time to give your toddler a breathing out activity. Having a quiet meal is a breathing in activity, so you cannot expect your toddler to sit in the car seat after a quiet meal. To be followed up by some free play, some running around, some movement, some jumping, some climbing, some exploring on their own with no to minimal instructions and interruptions from you. But yes, you have to be around. During this time, the child has to be left in a safe space. So my daughter will turn two soon. And at this stage, imitation is really strong. They want to be included in your daily activity. Imitation becomes a part of life. And this is how they learn and see life unfold. They want to absorb and become experts in whatever they learn and they're seeing around them. And that's why it's so easy for toddlers to learn language. So let your toddler participate in whatever it is that you're doing by creating a safe space for them to be included. And if you want them to learn table manners, yes, you have to sit at the table and eat properly with them so that they can look at you and learn and take cues from you. And the same goes for politeness, courtesies and sharing. If you share your food, your toddler will share his or her food without you having to ask them to do so. I learned that they also require freedom to explore. I cannot emphasize enough how important uninterrupted free play for a child is. It is very important for the child to build self-confidence, to explore uh, the surroundings in an intimate manner. If we have like a lot of interruption, it just kills their curiosity. We discourage them from uh, confidently exploring the environment. And your role is to understand the need of the child. At this stage, the children are very, very strong-willed. And when they are ready to try out a new activity, they will want to do it no matter how much you uh, try to curtail it. So this is a time not to curtail the activity, but to uh, provide an environment where they can safely carry this activity out. And the boundaries have to be communicated before the free play begins. Uh, you have to ensure that the environment is safe for the child to explore on their own. Being a parent is constant learning. You are learning every single day. So at no point of time will you feel that, oh, I've cracked the code and this is how I'm going to go on. But yes, there are certain things that work for you, which you continue doing. 
I think the thing that works the most for me is being present. Again, it's extremely simple to do. Uh, you just switch off from all the other activities, all the other engagements, and you give your child your complete attention and be present. And you see what a huge difference it makes. For a toddler or even a baby, um, a breathing and activity doesn't last too long. It would last 5 minutes or 15 minutes and then they would want to exhale and breathe out. Your role as a primary caregiver becomes is that you give those 5 to 15 minutes of complete undivided attention to your toddler when you engage. This is the time they want to know that you are there with them. You are completely present and they want to feel your presence. Once you've done this, you can let your child explore on their own when it's time to exhale. And of course, warmth goes a long way. Every child is looking for warmth and comfort. And uh, not all the time, but the child needs to know that the child is loved and cared for. Especially if you are the primary caregiver, uh, you have to show that affection and warmth to a child to have that bond. Shower your child with your loving presence. Greet them with undivided attention, especially when you haven't seen them for a while. Everything with a child has to be seen in a long-term perspective. And you can adjust your expectations accordingly. And you would not expect your child to be potty trained overnight or in three days. And you will give your child the due time he or she requires to be able to communicate the cues to go to the bathroom. So my toddler loves to help. Actually, she loves to help and assist me in any activity that I am carrying out. Off late, her favorite activities in the kitchen are washing vegetables, peeling onions, potatoes, and eggs boiled eggs she also likes to break eggs and we've had a few accidents in the past and yes the kitchen does get messy my cooking time increases but it is a sensory experience for my toddler and like i said these breathing in activities don't last long And 15 minutes later, she would lose interest and she would want to run around or be on a scooter. After breakfast, it's usually exhale time. And this could mean that we need to head out to the park. And even when we go out to the park, she might want to walk or she might want to take a scooter. Sometimes we'll spend our day in the garden. Painting can be a messy affair and it can quickly get out of hand and I've been told to use a chart paper instead of these tiny sheets of paper. Once there were three little pigs. Oh no! cried the little pig. Oh no! It's the big bad wolf! Big bad wolf! Singing is an important activity for us and we are singing through the day. We sing during breakfast, we sing in the garden, on our way to the park, in the park, in the bathroom. When we go to bed, we are constantly singing. We have songs for the moon, for the sun, for the trees and for the birds. Story time is right before bedtime. And these are very simple stories that I have created and there are only a few stories that I've told her which I tell her on repeat and trust me I have all her attention she remembers the stories now and she knows what to expect out of it uh, story time is very important for a child because it leaves a lot to the imagination and children have very very fertile imagination the thing to keep in mind when you're creating stories for your toddler during story time is that they should not be too long because we've already established 
that their attention span is very limited, they have to be gentle. The main protagonist of the story should always return home. Depending on how your child is reacting to the story, you might sometimes want to change certain nuances of the story if she's eliciting fear or is upset at the story, then maybe you need to change it and fine-tune it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate that you have been following my channel and my journey so far. I appreciate all the feedback that I get from all of you. Please do share and subscribe and comment down below what are the activities that you do with your toddler that you truly enjoy. And if you found these tips helpful, let me know which one uh, resonated the most with you. Stay safe. I will see you next week uh, with a new video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.